Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create and set up Spring Boot project in IntelliJ IDEA. Well, first, we will create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we will import that project in IntelliJ IDEA. So, let us first go ahead and create a Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Well, here I am in a Chrome browser. In a new tab, just type start.spring.io. This will bring up Spring Initializer. Well, Spring Initializer is a tool that we can use to quickly create a Spring based application. So here, let us fill up the project information. So here we have different types of projects. So let us select Marvin over here. And here we have different, you know, JVM languages, Java, Kotlin, Ruby. So let us keep Java as selected over here. Next, let us choose Spring Boot version. Well, here you can see by default 3.1.0 is selected. But whenever you create a Spring Boot project, then that time the Spring Boot version may be different. And let us keep the default one selected as it is because this is a stable and latest release of Spring Boot. Next, let us fill up the project metadata over here. So let us give group as net.java guides. You can give any group that you want. Next, artifact. So let us give artifact as EMS backend. So here we are developing employee management system. That's why the name EMS and then backend. Next, project name is same as artifact. Next, let us give description as demo project for Spring Boot employee management system. Next package net.javagates.ems packaging let us keep Java selected. Next Java version 17. Well remember whenever you choose Spring Boot 3 then make sure that you choose Java version 17 or later. Next let us go ahead and let us add the dependencies. So go ahead and click on add dependencies over here. And here just type web. Well, we use Spring Web Dependency to build web applications as well as RESTful web services. And this Spring Web Dependency internally provides Apache Tomcat as a default embedded container. Alright. So whenever you want to develop the Spring Boot RESTful web services, then make sure that you choose Spring Boot, you know, starter web dependency. Next, let us go ahead and let us select Spring Data GP dependency. Well, we want to use Spring Data GP dependency to develop the persistence layer or the repository layer and Spring Data JP internally uses Hibernate as a JPA provider and Spring Data JP it reduces a lot of boilerplate code that is required to develop the repository layer. So let us go ahead and select Spring Data JP over here and next in order to connect our Spring Boot application with the MySQL database we need a MySQL JDBC driver. So here just type MySQL and select MySQL JDBC driver over here. Next, we're going to use a Lombok library to reduce the boilerplate code such as getter setter methods, constructors and other stuff. So here just type Lombok and select this Lombok annotation library which helps to reduce the boilerplate code. Alright, so as of now, let us keep these four dependencies. Next, if you want to explore this project structure, you can go ahead and click on explore option over here and then you can explore the project structure and the files. So here you can see prom.xml and you can you know confirm the dependencies like we have added Spring Boot Starter Web, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA, MySQL JDBG Driver, Lombok dependency and by default Spring Boot Starter Test dependency is also added to the project. Okay, next you can also explore the project structure as well. Alright, next let us click on close button and next go ahead and click on generate button over here. So this will generate the Spring Boot application as a zip file and it will download it in a file system okay next let us go ahead and let us open this zip file in a folder all right next let us go ahead and let us unzip this zip file perfect next let's open the entry idea over here and here you can see we have three options new project open get from vcs so we are going to open the existing Marvin project so let us click on open button and next go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. So in my case, it is in download folder. And here, let me select EMS backend project. Click on open. Now we have opened Spring Boot application in an IntelliJ IDEA. All right. Perfect. Next, let us go ahead and click on form.xml file. And you can see the dependency over here. And next, you can see the project structure. So this is the standard Marvin project structure. So this is a Spring Boot main entry point class. From here, we can run the Spring Boot application. Next, under resources folder, you can see application.properties file. Here, we can configure the application level properties. Okay. 
Well, let me recap what we have done in this lecture. We have created Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer and then we have imported that project name to Jidea. In next lecture, we will configure MySQL database details in our Spring Boot application. Alright, great, I will see you in the next lecture.